Today, we are cheating the art world, and it feels so good to be so bad. Hello, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here and I know what you're saying. Lance, what are you talking about cheating? So let, let me tell you what I'm talking about. Uh, we're gonna talk about this little guy right here. This is a projector and I use this so when I wanna take a small study like this and put it on a larger substrate like this, I use this guy. I actually got this a couple years ago on Amazon for like 50 bucks. This is just a regular HD 1080 um, projector. You can get 4K ones, but they're much more expensive. I'm gonna show you how I use this. I mean, I can draw and I could draw this study on this, but it would take hours to make sure proportions are correct and all the alignment is, is good to go. Or I could grid this off and grid this off and do it that way. And that still takes a lot of time. So with this little gem, I just throw in a metal thumb drive here with the image on it and I project it up onto the substrate and then I draw out the composition. It's as easy as that. So it's not really about cheating so much as it is about using tools that are at your disposal. And you know, is that cheating? I don't know. Some of you may say, Lance, that is cheating. All you purists out there. And that's fine. I mean, I get it. I used to be that way once upon a time too. But as I've, uh, you know, moved forward through the years, I've come to realize that using tools like this to make my life easier, man, it really changes everything. It, it keeps, it saves me a ton of time. And ultimately the end goal is the end product, right? That's, that's all that really matters. It doesn't matter how do we get from this to that as long as we do it efficiently and create good art so without further ado i'm gonna show you that and uh, i'll see you in a little while okay so now i have my projection up uh, it takes a little while to get the distance so you can actually get the, the proper crop and you have to kind of dial in the focus a little bit so you can see it. If you're gonna do this and you're using an HD version, a 1080 version, uh, I recommend setting the image, the JPEG, uh, which is what I use, to a 1080 resolution because if it's higher than that, this projector will not project it. It would just bomb out. But in this case, I've set it to the exact dimensions of the 1080 projector and the, you can't see it in the video, but you can actually see the pixels on here because of the, the way it's being projected. And that's okay, because all I really want is um, something general so I can you know, lay out the shapes and the outlines. That's all I really want. I'm, I'm not looking for detail here, especially since this is an abstract piece. The detail is not, that, that comes later. This is not important at this stage. All I really want is to make sure I'm laying out the proportions and the shapes um, the way I break down the shadow shapes and the highlights and the midtones, and I want to make sure that I get all of that information onto the substrate. And that's where we start. Here we go. Oh, I'm just using a regular permanent marker. Okay, just a Sharpie. And uh, all I'm going to do is kind of sketch out these lines. Doesn't have to be perfect. And, and the good thing about this too is I can make changes on the fly, you know? So if I, if I see something in the composition that I end up not liking, then I, I can just change it here. That's not a big deal. I can leave out and omit certain things if I decide I don't want them. Uh, but again, this shouldn't take the place of doing the drawing. You're like, you should still draw. You should still practice drawing and try to get better at it. I've spent a ton of hours over the years, both in undergrad and in grad school, going through drawing and, and you know having drawing classes. And uh, that that's definitely a skill that you want to continue to hone in on. But in this case, I'm trying to make my life easier, right? I I just want to 
be able to blow this image up at a quicker pace. And, you know, again, some of you may think I'm cheating, but the good thing is, and what I should say, I don't know if it's good or not, um, you know, many artists do this. Many artists use projectors or some sort of transfer, especially when they're going to larger, larger things. And uh, this is not an uncommon practice. So, you know, many, many of you artists out there that may be seeing this, you may already do this and you may, you may agree with me. So, yeah, I mean, don't be afraid to use the tools that are at your disposal. This is a relatively inexpensive way to, uh, to make my life easier, you know? And I can get on to the, the part of this that I really enjoy, and that's actually applying paint, you know? Instead of laying all this out. I mean, this, I'm getting ready to do this in just a few minutes, honestly, compared to what would take hours to, uh, to make this happen. So, I am not ashamed of it, and nor should you be, you know? Utilize this. But I'm gonna finish this up. I'll talk to you in a few. Okay guys, that's it. That's how I take a small color study like this and move it to a larger substrate to get ready to paint. So much easier than drawing it out or gritting this off and gritting that off and making sure all the landmarks hit correctly. Um, that, that takes a lot of time and, and you can certainly do that. But um, if you don't mind cheating a little bit, then I do recommend getting yourself one of these little projectors here, you know, and a thumb drive and uh, put your little image on a thumb drive and project this onto the larger substrate, whether it's a canvas or whether it's wood or whatever you're working on. If, maybe it's a wall. I mean, maybe you, that would certainly play very well if you were going to do a mural and you wanted to project it up onto the wall so you could get all the portions you know, correctly, it wouldn't work if you were doing a wall outside because unless you were trying to sketch it in the dark, because uh, you would need a little bit of darkness to be able to see this. But uh, yeah, if you want to move to a larger format from a smaller format, then this is what I recommend. This is what I use on a regular basis when I'm trying to take my small studies into a larger painting. Maybe it's cheating. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> you can be the judge of that. Uh, if you want to do it traditionally, I'm all for that. You know, definitely don't stray away from drawing and, and perfecting. Although I don't know if anybody's ever perfected drawing outside of any of the classics. But, uh, and I'm certainly not the best drawer in the world. I'm certainly not the best artist in the world. Um, but I have confidence in my drawing skills and I could lay this out, but it would take hours, whether I sketched it out or whether I drew, you know, gritted this off. I made it happen, it would take a long time. And I'm trying to move past that part. Of it. That's not the fun part, right? 
I do think you should enjoy the experience and take pleasure in the process. But at the same time, if we can utilize tools like this projector to make our lives easier so we can move on to the really exciting parts of creating art, then I'm a big advocate for that. And that's why I do what I do. So that's it for now. Short little video on how I get things projected up and you know, laid out on a larger scale. Uh, hope, hopefully you like this video and it uh, inspires you to go grab one of these and create larger work because that's, uh, that's what I enjoy. And uh, yeah, but for now, that's it. So if you like this video, please, you know, hit the thumbs up button. Give me a like, you know, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay creative, my friends.